brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. My mom is kind of giving up on her career field and is depending on me to uh, fund essentially everything for her. Now, a little bit of background. Uh, I don't have any brothers and sisters. And my, my parents uh, divorced early on. How, uh, how old is your mother? Her, uh, she's 52. And she's so you're 52, supposed to support uh, this 52-year-old ba- woman for the rest of her life who doesn't want to work much. Um, well, the thing that's happened is essentially she worked at a university. She went to school, got her PhD, and was, was really trying to break uh, into the medical field with her, her doctorate, and she just wasn't able to get a job. Uh, and so now, you know, it's gone on uh, about a year and a half now where she essentially – hasn't had a job and has been was using all of her uh i guess money that she has saved pretty irresponsible uh, for somebody smart enough to get a phd what's your degree in uh something medical research she was working she actually was doing uh some sort of um (laughs) job at the cdc during covid that was you know an assignment for i think six months or something like that uh, but before that, she was working with infectious disease in. Okay. Uh, Wait, here's the deal. University. Does she have her name on your checking account? No. Okay. She can only get money if you give it to her. That is correct. And so um, she can't take it from you. She can't steal it from you. She can just ask you for it. Wait a minute. Let's stop a second, okay? Let's pretend that this wasn't your mom for a second. And you just, you're talking to your best friend's mom, who's 52. Is it good for her to do nothing and drain her kid? Let's talk about her. Is it good for her? Yeah. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a rhetorical question. I'm asking you. Is it good for her? Uh, of course not. Okay. Then if you assist her in doing something that's not good for her, you are not doing good, sir. Follow me? Yeah. You're giving a drunk a drink. I'm with you. You're giving a drunk a drink. So what's happened is is her heart got broken and her confidence got shaken. After she went and got her Ph.D., she thought she had a meal ticket, and it turns out you still got to go out there and shovel the ditch. And and she shook up, and she's lo- her heart's messed up, and instead of actually re-engaging life, she's trying to escape, and in the process, suck the marrow out of your bones. The only way forward, good man, is to sit down and have an across the table conversation with your mom. Yeah, it's and good it's for safe. her to re-engage life. Honey. I love you, and you got knocked down hard, and I'm so sorry. I'm and I'll walk with you. I'll be your biggest cheerleader. I'll pick you up. I'll dust you off. But I'm not going to support you while you do nothing because it's not good for you. You're way too smart to waste your life away sitting and watching Oprah reruns. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. And I promise you there's a job at a university it. for her. There's and if awesome. she tries to be a travel agent for guilt trips, don't let her. Yeah. Mom, I I am not an ungrateful son. That's why I'm sitting here. But I'm so grateful, and I love you so much, that I will not participate in your destruction. I will not participate in you turning a wonderful life into a a pile of poop. I'm not going to participate in that. I love you too much to do that. I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm going to dust you off. I'm going to cheer you on. I'll call you back. I'll coach you. I'll buy you books. I'll be your biggest cheerleader, but I'm not going to give a drunk a drink because something knocked her out of the saddle, and now she's scared of horses. Yeah. She? She's afraid, I think, isn't she? Yeah, I don't know if she really wants to anymore, to be honest. Well, that, that yeah, hopelessness that hopelessness comes from not believing anymore. That's a type of fear. Proverbs says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. But but when desire comes, it is the tree of life. And and so if I called her up tomorrow out of the blue 
and said, the CDC is on the other line. They want to pay you 140000 a year. Can you be there Monday? Suddenly, she wouldn't have given up. Suddenly, she would light up like a dadgum Christmas tree. So she's not done. She's heartbroken, hopeless. And so part of your job is not to give her money, but to inject hope into her life and help her get back on the horse. And don't you dare give her any more money. Right. Don't you dare give her any more money. If you want to buy some food and drop off a bag of food, do that. But don't you give her cash to sit on her butt. Don't participate in her own destruction. That's the worst kind of enabling. You're not being nice. You're being mean when you do that. Is that making sense? Because yeah. she, it's not good for her. And the byproduct of you doing this right is it actually does protect you. But that's really even yeah. down the list. I would let you suffer um, if I thought it was the right thing to do to, to pour money over there. Yeah. yeah. It's not good for her. Um, not good for her. How does this conversation can, go, Brandon? Can I add a, How's it sound it when you went, talk to her next time? Really well. Um, no, I don't I don't have any problem really having the conversation with her. Um I just was really wondering how to navigate it, you know. Uh yeah. It is touchy for in person. So, uh, in person, holding one of her hands, you pick you pick up the tab for the breakfast. You're looking into her eyes and just tell yeah. her how much you love her. Twenty two times during the thing, and I love you so much that I'm going to help you get back on the horse. Because Mama, I can tell your heart's broken. I can tell you've lost hope, and you you're too smart. You got a freaking PhD. You're too smart to waste yeah. your life away. And I'm not going to stand by as someone who loves you and allow you to do that. I'm going to be cheering you on. I'm going to be kicking your butt. Huh? Yeah, go for it. What's up? Uh, Could I ask you one quick thing? Um, So currently she she moved out of her house into what my, I I have a rental property. It's the only debt that I have left. Uh, And, you know, now it went from, you know, me being able to put an extra $1,500 it made toward that mortgage to me now paying probably another seven or eight hundred out of my yeah put a put a time limit on how long she's six there. months or six yeah. months you got six months in the house mom and then i gotta sell it you need to put a deadline on it yeah because otherwise this goes on for 15 years that was a bad move by the way hey hang on i'm gonna send you ken coleman's books for her from paycheck to purpose and proximity principle maybe they'll help her get started create your free every dollar budget today the simplest way to budget for your life